Missouri. People with disabilities, their families, friends, service providers, and supporters vote. That's why the Congress on Disability Policy has invited the Republican and Democratic candidates for Governor, Lieutenant Governor, Attorney General, and Secretary of State here today. Good afternoon. Uh, my name is Chris Coster, and I'm one of the candidates for Attorney General in the state of Missouri. So many, I, I know, notice many familiar faces out there, and, but some of you may or may not know my personal story with regard to this office uh, that I'm seeking, and that is I was elected to the Missouri State Senate four years ago as a member of the Republican Caucus, and after a, a period of time, stopped, I left the Republican Caucus to join the Democratic Caucus. Um, one of the main issues um, that drove me away from the Republicans and toward the Democratic Caucus has to do with disability uh, funding and with the future of this type of research that can help so many people, people here in this room, people in my family. Uh, the main issue was 2005, the issue of stem cell research. Senator Graham, my colleague and friend, uh, and in, in many ways a mentor, um, and I stood on the floor of the Missouri Senate uh, for hour after hour trying to stop the effort to criminalize stem cell research uh, in this state. Ultimately, we were successful, but there is a uh, an entire wing of the majority party in Jefferson City that has turned its back on the type of research and funding uh, that can help so many people in this state. We've seen uh, rollbacks in our commitment to the HAP centers, the six HAP centers across Missouri. Uh, we saw the First Steps uh, program become a casualty in the initial budget. And we've seen four years of an administration that has turned its back on the voiceless. Whether it doesn't know or doesn't care is a debatable issue. But what cannot be debated is that this administration has not listened to the voices of those who need the most protection in our society. Um, as Attorney General, we'll get a chance to, to talk about that. There are many things that can be done to move forward the cause of the disabled community in Missouri. I look forward to being that champion. Uh, good afternoon, and uh, it's great to see so many friends here today, Max, and, and all the organizations that are involved. Thank you for uh, hosting this event. Uh, this is really a, an outgrowth of just a community event, uh, probably back in 96, where we uh, first started uh, trying to uh, let people who are running for office uh, know that there is a very large uh, community of people with disabilities. Uh, we do vote, and we do matter. And so it's so wonderful to see this blossom into a statewide event. Uh, I'm not here for myself today. I'm here for Jay Nixon, uh, who is running for governor. And I'm very pleased and honored that Jay asked me to be here uh, to speak on his behalf. Um, I know we're supposed to talk about our personal experiences, and obviously, you know, I have a lot of personal experience with disability. But let me tell you about my personal experience with Jay Nixon. Uh, the first time I met uh, Jay Nixon in terms of working on disability issues is uh, back when I was in the House. And the Supreme Court, through what I thought was a very convoluted decision, had decided that uh, state employees with disabilities didn't have rights under Title II of the Americans with Disabilities Act. If you worked at McDonald's and you had a disability, you had rights. But if you worked for the Department of Mental Health and you had a disability, you had no rights under the ADA, which, uh, fr frankly, I'm, I'm very pleased Congress finally rectified that with the Americans with Disabilities Act amendments that were uh, passed in Washington this week and signed by uh, President Bush. Uh, Jay Nixon uh, came forward and said, look, uh, as Attorney General of this state, I think that's wrong. Uh, I want to work with you on legislation that uh, basically says, I as Attorney General will not uh, uh, allow this to happen. Uh, we are going to concede that state employees and disabilities have rights if we have a court case, and I'd like you to help me with that. Uh, we weren't able to pass the legislation, but just the the mere fact that the Attorney General of the State of Missouri said, I will not defend discrimination against state employees with disabilities as your Attorney General, uh, and he was the first Attorney General in the country to do that, uh, told me a lot about how he's going to work with people with disabilities. All right. Yeah. Uh, my name is Sam Page. I am a state representative, and I am a medical doctor. In my practice, I see patients as an inpatient and outpatient with with chronic pain problems. I have a pain management practice. And my personal experience with disabilities was made public 
a couple of weeks ago when my wife and her mother released a video in sign language to talk about my campaign for lieutenant governor in Missouri. And I've learned a lot about disabilities through my wife's family. Both of her parents were deaf since uh, they were two, and they attended Fulton School for the Deaf and uh, uh, met there and raised three wonderful kids. One of them was my wife and is now a practicing medical doctor in, uh, in St. Louis County. She's a rehabilitation doctor. She runs the acute rehab unit at St. Anthony's Hospital. I'll put in a plug for them today. Um, I've learned a lot over the past 20 years that I've spent with my wife, Jenny, learned a lot about what they went through um, growing up and what their parents have gone through as deaf adults in Missouri. And I've led the fight on the, on the House floor for the past six years as a state representative to pass mental health parity legislation. And last year, I sponsored legislation to require insurance companies to cover the medical treatments related to autism in, in Missouri. Now, we have eight other states that require insurance companies to cover treatments for autism, and I would like to see Missouri become the ninth. And I will continue to push that legislation as Lieutenant Governor. Now, the most pressing issue before us in Missouri, what we're going to be talking about in January when we go back in this session, is to restore the blood kinder cuts in healthcare in Missouri, and I will be participating in that fight as aggressively as I did before. Thank you.